All right, guys, what is up? Iceman and one here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the fastest way to get Elite Clue Scrolls in RuneScape 3 2017, and also how to get to mutated Jadinko males. So, for this, you don't really need too much expensive armor or anything. I just use Void Armor and a Cerdom and God Sword, which is nice for the health special attack. You can also use it for the pair special attack, but I don't really need to. Anyway, go to your bank. The requirements for this is at least 85 Slayer. Now, I know the requirements on the list have it listed as a monster requiring 91 Slayer. However, you can eat a pie that'll last for about 5 to 6 minutes and it'll boost your uh, level for 6. It'll boost your Slayer 6 levels and that last, like, it won't start decaying right away it'll last for about uh five to six minutes so here we go i recommend because you don't know how quickly you're gonna get it bring like four or five of them and then i use summer's pie for health although i usually don't need help health and then vampire zamora uh that usually stops me from needing any food these are really easy to kill uh i just use serodom and god sword and void like i said glory and ring of wealth um, so yeah, let's get in. How to get there. Okay, so I get there easily by just getting a Juju Teleport Spirit Bag, which you can buy off the Grand Exchange for about 3, 2 to 3k. Um, as I know of, this doesn't have any requirements to use, so you just teleport with it. So this is currently one of the fastest ways to get a clue scrap a clue scroll as a drop from a monster. An elite clue scroll. Clark drops hard too, but elite is what people come to these for. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you should be right here in the very bottom Karamja. You're just gonna come up, come around here, do this cross do this cross bridge right here, and then go to that dungeon right there. The layer. Alright. So we're gonna change our map. We're going to go climb the vine. So I don't know what total level these are. I think they're 6,000 HP. You can easily one hit them with special attacks such as this one and that one. Uh, I turn on that. I turn on multi to try and get as many as once. And I'll show you eating if I once. Uh, sometimes you'll fail at that. You'll just start right there. Just come back up around. See, so then you just squeeze through the hole. Your first time you'll get a message probably saying it's like dangerous or something. And just don't worry about it. Just go ahead and click it again and get your way in. Um, these are non-aggressive. They may be aggressive if you're a lower level, but they're non-aggressive to me. I'm level 131 combat. Here are my stats. So that may be why they're non-aggressive to me, but yeah. So it's only 3.3k for the teleport. You go all the way to the side. Past all of these. And you'll reach the mutated Jadinko male. So these are where you want to go to get your elite clue scroll to level 100 with 6,000 HP. This is my ability bar set up. Go ahead and copy it if you want, although I don't think it's the best. Go ahead if, if you feel you want to. So you need a wilder pie. So what you're going to do with the wilder pie is you're going to eat it and it'll boost your level. I you see. So now for five minutes, six minutes, it just goes down. For five to six minutes, I have 92 Slayer, and then it'll start degrading. So while that's going down, you can just go ahead and start killing them. If you need to stop at any time, just go ahead and walk out to either side. They're non-aggressive, so they won't keep attacking you. As you can see, they don't really do much to your HP. If you have vampirism, you probably won't even need food. Um, yeah, other than that. There really aren't any big drops, like say just one hit with that ability. There really aren't any big drops they give besides clue scrolls. Uh, actually, that's a lie. They give out um, whip vines, but those are pretty pretty worthless nowadays. I think they're like 85k, so they're worth picking up. Um, but besides that, that's about it. They also drop mahogany logs, stacked, uh, noted, I mean. And that's about... 12 to 15k 
each drop. So if you really in need of money, I usually pick those up sometimes just to cover the cost of the teleport and just one uh, stack of wild, uh, one stack of mahogany logs is equal to one wilder pie. So uh, you can also get if you really are that tight on money, you can get half a wilder pie for much cheaper. But I don't know how long that'll take to get through the grand exchange. So just go ahead when your time runs up, it'll give you a message saying you need a higher slayer monster to kill these. And then just go ahead and eat the other half of your pie. So each pie has two uses. As you can see, your level doesn't decrease at all until the five minute time span is completed. Uh, any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments. Um, Juju teleport spirit bag to get there. Uh, you can pick up their drops if you want, but I don't. Uh, if you're coming here to get an elite clue scroll, it's not worth your time. It's worth your time to use up. Uh, use up the Wilder Pie before it's finished and you can't attack these anymore. Because I'd rather have a clue scroll than have be picking up items and not get one. See, there you go. 10k is because of that stack of Mahogany Logs. So I'll pick them up sometimes. Go ahead and get some nice extra side GP. Another thing is also, this isn't a really big thing. But you see the favor points in the top left corner. That's used over at the altar over here. What you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, what I like to do is withdraw all rewards. And then I do it in seeds and teleport bags. Uh, I didn't actually get any teleport bags this time. But that's because then I don't have to buy teleport bags ever again. Because every time I come here, I get a clue scroll. I stop there, get teleport bags. And then I just bank the seeds and I'll sell them on the Grand Exchange. They're very cheap, but it's a little bit just for clicking withdrawal. So I think it's worth it. Anyway, any questions, guys, go ahead and let me know. They also drop spirit bags. So like that, if you just want one to pick up, there you go. There's your free trip next time. Never have to use Grand Exchange besides just buying those pies. Uh, I don't know what the exact drop rate is, but it's the highest of all monsters. I'm pretty sure still. Besides bosses, um, if you don't, if you just include the regular monsters, this is where you want to go to get your clue scroll. So again, you need a minimum of 85 Slayer. 91 is prime, but 85 works fine with the Wilder Pie. And then just come on here. Any, all right, guys, I'm just saying. Yeah, any questions? Let me know in the comments. There you go, 13k because of mahogany logs. So that's about it. Good luck, guys. See you later.